Education, they say, goes a long way in building the minds of individuals, as it is the footstool to greatness. Each year, senior pupils of the secondary school category undergo a test of knowledge being acquired during the course of their stay in their respective schools for the period of six years, as it is a criteria for entry into the high institution. Recall that the West African Examination Council has been engaged in shifting the closing period for the WASE registration to accommodate pupils that want to sit for the exams. Today, the management of the West African Examination Council, WAEC, spearheaded by the head of national office representing the registrar, held a press conference to notify the public on the closure of the registration portal and the date and process for the commencement of the examination. Yeah. The virulent COVID-19 pandemic that hit the globe in 2020 created tension, uncertainty, disruption of socio-economic and economic activities. The Council was not excluded as the effects of the pandemic almost hindered the conduct of the West African Senior School Certificate Examination for School Candidates 2020 and 2021. As you all know, the scheduled days for the conduct of the examinations had to be shifted to later days because of the prevailing effects of the pandemic. In respect of the WASP for School Kind Days 2022, examination period is as follows. Gentlemen of the media, I am delighted to inform you that the conduct of the West African Senior School Certificate Examination for School Candidates 2022 will be taking place between the 16th of May and 23rd of June 2022 in Nigeria, spanning a period of six weeks. The revert to May-June period for the conduct of the examination should be celebrated. The significance of this is that the West African Examinations Council and the various member states, save Ghana, have now again found a common ground in respect of their academic calendars. With this set date, pupils are hereby advised to prepare adequately for their forthcoming examinations as the organization has made it clear that any form or forms of malpractices will not be tolerated. From Lagos, Emmanuel Ulububukun, Captain Television.